In lesson three, we're going to be talking about the digestive system. And when we talk about the digestive system, we're simply talking about that collection of organs that deals with the process of digestion. Things like our stomach, our intestines, and others that we'll be talking about in the course of the lesson. Now when we talk about digestion, what we're really talking about is the process that breaks our food down into nutrients that our bodies can use. When we learned about cells, we said that cells needed food to survive. And in multicellular organisms like humans, this food comes from the digestive process. There are basically two different ways that our body breaks down food, and it is important to understand the distinction between these. The first process is called mechanical digestion, and that's the idea when we talk about mechanical things, machines, we're talking about things with moving parts, and mechanical digestion just means breaking down food through motion, through movement, like chewing or the muscles in our stomach kind of shifting around and causing that to grind and break the food down. So this is the idea of just breaking it into smaller pieces through mechanical processes in our bodies. The second type of digestion, however, is called chemical digestion. And chemical digestion is basically digestion that happens as the result of a chemical reaction. Things like the saliva in our mouth, softening our food with enzymes working to start breaking it down the hydrochloric acid, the pepsin, the other enzymes in our stomach working to break that food down. And this chemical digestion is what actually really breaks it down on a cellular level and gets the nutrients out that our body's able to use. We want to take a few minutes and look at the process of digestion and the steps that the food does take through our digestive system. Of course, digestion begins at the mouth when we eat food. And during this time, there's both chemical and mechanical digestion taking place. Mechanical digestion takes place from chewing when we bite down on the food, it's breaking it into smaller and smaller pieces. And chemical digestion occurs from the saliva, softening the food and enzymes in that saliva helping to start breaking it down before we even swallow it. After we swallow our food, it travels down our esophagus, and that's just this tube that runs from our mouth down into our stomach. And the esophagus is lined with these involuntary muscles that help to kind of push the food, force the food down into our stomach. Once the food reaches our stomach, it continues the digestion process through both chemical and mechanical digestion again. In the stomach, we have hydrochloric acid along with digestive enzymes to break the food down and start taking nutrients out. But also just the muscles lining the stomach work to kind of shift the food around and break it into smaller pieces as well. After the food leaves the stomach, it moves into the small intestines. And this is a very important part of the digestive process because what you notice in the picture there, there's these little things called villi that are lining the small intestines. And as the food travels along, these villi have capillaries in them that are very close to the surface and it's able to actually extract the nutrients from the food as it digests in the small intestines and then it gets into the bloodstream, where as we talked about in that lesson, the blood is able to take it to every cell in your body in order to give the nutrients that it needs for your cells to survive. After it leaves the small intestines, what's left of this food, at this point it's simply waste, is ready to be transported and removed from our bodies. So during this last stage of digestion in the small intestines, essentially what's happening, the food, or the remains of the food, minus all the nutrients, is being kind of packed together, compacted, and dried somewhat into what we call feces so that it can be excreted from our bodies as waste. It is important to understand all the different steps of the digestive process that our food goes through, as well as the types of digestion that are taking place, both the chemical digestion and the mechanical digestion. 